And, and to fight back and get his position on tour. Uh, great, uh, great surfing as we see the opening right here for Italo. And uh, it looks like that wind's picked up a, a little bit. And uh, just creating a little bit of bump on the face here. But it'll... And outside, here's the opening ride for Matty. So uh, you can see in the space of five minutes, the lineup's changed a little bit. It's a unique venue. It's so exposed to swell, and there's not really ever an event here that doesn't dish up big waves and, and some of these smaller high-performance stuff. Well, let's see what this underdog can serve up to the 2019 world champion. Doesn't get a whole lot out of that wave, and the ocean might just need a minute here to recover because that last heat gave us everything. Yeah, moving out to meet this one. And it's an easy decision to swing here. Let's see what he can do with it on the backhand. Drops to the bottom, drives up into this first section. Gets that first turn done under the lip. This wave's slowing up for a moment. But you can always savour a score with a dynamic finishing turn, and that's what he dishes up. Yeah, good, good wave. Uh, I don't think it's going to go super high on the score line, but it was just uh, an important wave for Italo, 70 to 80 percent. Check the replay. A beautiful looking wave drives hard off the off the bottom there on his backhand. Just so much acceleration off the bottom. And I like this turn. Just waited patiently for his moment. Up and over. Controls the finish. Just under 19 minutes to go. And here goes Matty. 25 years of age. Working this one over. Let's see what he can bring to the party here. Against Italo, super hard. Let's check out Manny McGillivray. So uh, just sort of missed the first section. It's a bit of a cutback, more of a repositioning turn to get him in line for this one and then just throws everything at it. A big extension, layback carve. Great technique here. Knew he needed something special at the end of this ride. And uh, stomping right on the tail. Jeez, he's really connection. That's going to score pretty well. I think it'll be very comparable to the 6.5. Might even eclipse it as Italo looks to respond now. He oh. finds a, a big section of his own. There's that just impeccable timing. The kind of turns uh, that we saw from Nat Young earlier on. I'm actually going to give the, the nod here. Late takeoff for Italo. Look. Gets straight on the hillside rail as he comes off the bottom. And then that was that little catch there. So the judges would have picked up on that, but the finish was was really dynamic. Just completely on edge. Gets up late. Almost up and under the lip there. Oh. Just drifting. A sense of weightlessness. If his back's against the wall, he can go for that move as well. But at the moment, just relying on his power, Italo hanging on to the lead, trying to get rid of a 6.5 here. And he goes to the air, almost pulls it off. You could see his board kind of flicker midway through the rotation, and he lost control. And maintaining speed. So this is Italo here looking for, for something a bit more spicy, a bit more progressive. And uh, it was just the work that he missed on the outside that was, was what let that score down from going excellent. Lining one up once again. And much like Kaio Abeli, this guy has used these replacement opportunities to good effect now. Didn't want to waste them. Didn't want to end up back on the Challenger Series. And he's got a good look and flow happening here at the moment. And Matty McGilvray, you know, you talk about the weapons that, that Italo has. Matty's got a great strike rate with a, a big full rotation air reverse that he can go to. Uh, and we got a little glimpse of it in that last round. And uh, let's see what happened here with Matty McGillivray. Nice opening carve. So uh, looks like the, the pressure of qualification has actually lifted Matty's spirits and the way he's attacking these waves. And uh, really connecting those turns well on this one. Really putting the, uh, the board on edge today, isn't he? Yeah. You know, you can see that confidence is really helping me helping him especially just in those driving bottom turns yeah and you can see uh maddie just maybe not when you compare it against say a john john the the, the right the back half the back third of the turn uh the, the rail is not quite as engaged enough he's maybe flattening it out a little bit more
But what he's sort of lacking in power, he's, he's bringing in uh, variety. Italo, let's see if he can bounce back. He's a world champion. He's definitely got the, the firepower to throw up these big tall walls. And he's trying to line something up towards the end of this ride. But again, it's got a, a real surging left coming his way without a lot of steep wall to bank on. And then in the last 12 minutes, I went, got those three back to back to back. And then that just being able to have that comeback uh, makes me feel really good. So I lost, but I'm still really happy. Yeah, explain to me that air that you threw because that was absolutely incredible, especially with the offshore winds. Yeah, well, I saw the wind was kind of starting to blow up the face into the rights more. And I was thinking, I mean, I'm comboed. I got to figure out something. So uh, once I got on that wave and I saw that it was like a nice tapered off closeout, I just like widened my stance. I'm like, I'm going for it for sure. The judges just loved it. Here we go, the fight back. Yeah, it's a low driving up into this first section. Nice hook off the top. And you can see just how patient he is. He's allowing the wave to do its thing as well. Loading up for something big here. Always exciting when this guy takes to the air and he almost rode out. <laughs> Unbelievable. The distance covered the loft in that move. And if he rode out of that one, it would have been a monster score. But the pressure's going to be right on now. Four and a half minutes to go as he makes his way in. We get to the ski. Just back to the edge. Jeez, he, oh gosh, he covered so much ground. And, uh, well, just have a look on uh, Italo's Instagram page and there's hundreds of these things where he makes them. And unfortunately, this one just uh, a little awkward in the landing. That just takes so much guts to go for that move with that shelf looming. Uh, you know that you're, you're going to be dealing with some tricky, tricky water on the inside. The, the thing that Italo has going for it just hasn't connected with the high quality set waves just yet. Matty on the outside. Dives off this one, gets a little caught behind. He's a hero for the whole of Brazil and, and for grommets around the world. In fact, it's, it's hard to not like the guy and his, his surfing is just unbelievable. Here we go. Now competing oh. with a, an increased intensity. This absolute live wire loading up. Needs a big score here. And that's always great for surf fans. When he's chasing a number, you know he's going to throw something exciting at you. The big rotation to finish there on the inside. But that wave was tapering off. Will the judges see an 8.71 in it? Oh, there's not much more he could have done on that wave. Uh, the first term was excellent. Great day, Italo. Let's watch the replay here. So up and under the pocket. Of oh, the best first turn that he'd done the whole heat. The second turn, just a big grinding cut back into the pocket here. And all he was thinking right now is get in the air, which he did. And uh, on any other day, that would have been a, a pretty tidy little aerial. The scores came through, 7.5, not enough. And the South African is into the semifinals for the second time in as many years. And what a performance, a clutch performance from Matthew McGilvray. He's charging on through to the semis. And we've got another big heat just around the corner. Nat Young will take on Ethan Ewing.